Hello Star Munchers, Max here, back playing Mass Effect Legendary Edition. In the last episode, we saved Dr. Liara, uh, totally on purpose, using our powerful, powerful understanding and observation. We chose the correct planet and saved her in a heroic fashion. Yeah, that's all I have to say about that. Uh, let's pull up the journal. Uh... Geth interest in corporate research colony of Novaria. Geth have attacked the worlds of Pharos. Okay, let's take a look at these. I wish I could just get rid of some of these. News vids indicate that a survey team in the Hades Gamma Cluster recently dropped out of contact. Go to the Hades Gamma Cluster and find out what happened to them. Hades Gamma Cluster. Hades Gamma Cluster. Let's look into that. Let's zoom out of there. I mean, what are the odds? Okay. Hades Gamma Cluster. It just says somewhere in here. Let's go to Dis. And not that. Let's Thanks just coming in. Patch it through. Commander Shepard, my name is Nasana Dantius. I have a job for you. I can't stay anymore in an unsecured communication. If you're interested in hearing my offer, meet me on the Citadel so we can talk in person. I'll be waiting in the diplomats lounge on the Presidium. Oh okay. Alright. There's so many planets in this game. Somewhere in the Gamma Cluster? Anywhere here? How in the world am I supposed to figure that out? Okay, so not Dis, Antaeus. I'm just gonna go to all three. We're looking for people who dropped off a transmission. Okay, whoa now. Nope, no one there. So let's try Faranada. I'm still getting used to the map. There are quite a few planets. Whoop, 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 whoop. That looks like our thing. Kowloon class modular conveyor of human design configured for mis mixed freight and passenger hauling. It is m making a hard burn for the lower cover and asteroid cluster. Board? We can just board it? I'm assuming, is this the people that we're looking for? Um, biotic strength. All right, we need some intimidation. And I just want to mix things up. It's what I did with the Outer Worlds. I might as well, oh, this has enemies on it, apparently. Which makes me think that they got boarded already. There's a lot of enemies on board this. Like, a lot. Can I save? I'm gonna just save right here as a precaution. I don't sense that this is going to go very well. Yeah, a maze path of, of like, crates. Biotic terrorists. Intruders, kill the hostage. <laughs> okay, uh, where am I? What is going on? Stand up, please. <laughs> okay. I'm glad I saved. Holy cow. Okay, they tased me and I couldn't get up. All right. You want to play that way? We'll play that way. Now that the secrecy thing is gone. Intruders, kill the hostage. 
Damn, let's move. Okay, that's a really annoying power. Okay, so we got a bunch of space witches. Okay, <laughs> sick. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Why? Why is the difficulty spike so high? Why? Goodness. Okay. I mean, I know I'm not using any strategy. So, like, it's to be expected that I'm just going to get, like, quick scoped. Kill the hostage. Okay. I'm waiting so I can... Come on. Damn, let's move. Come on. Show yourself. Okay. Barrier. Is that a biotic shield? Absorbs damage, I like that. And then you use Sabotage Overkill, actually. Okay, that didn't work. <laughs> okay, can I, can I stand up? Will you please, please just let me stand up? <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, okay. All right. Clearly the game is trying to tell me that I'm not supposed to be here yet. But that frustrates me a lot, actually. I wonder if we could lead them backwards. Okay, run. Okay. Shields, let's do that. That went a little bit better. Okay. All right. Oh, ouch, 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 ouch. Okay. That power, whatever it is, is really annoying. You need to stop whoever you are. Okay. Move. Stick and move. We got two minutes. Goodness. Okay, can we... Nope, can't save. Okay. See how it is? You write letters and everyone ignores you. Force is the only thing people appreciate. So how about if I kill Chairman Burns and finish the charade? I don't even know who you are, dude. I was trying to help you people. Let's not do anything we're all going to regret. Why not? What have we got to lose? Since the chairman here decided that we didn't get reparations, we've got nothing left to live for. But I've changed my mind. Seeing you all, it, it, it's clear that you all deserve... You had your chance. Some L2s are nearly crippled from side effects of the implants, but you voted against reparations. Think about this. Burns is the one man who can help you. Yes, if you release me, I can take another look at the reparations request. What, we're supposed to trust you? Sure, you promise us freedom and say everything will be fine, but as soon as we surrender, you'll double-cross us. I'm not promising to let you go. All I'm saying is that Burns will take another look. Right, Burns? Absolutely. I had no idea that the L2 biotics were this desperate. If I'd known, the reparations will come. For whatever it's worth, I promise that. You're right. I don't want to die. Maybe something will happen this time. We surrender. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. Maybe, maybe. I'll see to it that the step away. Discussion is reopened. I 
I didn't know they were so desperate. A fifth fleet cruiser will be by shortly to pick you and the prisoners up. Okay. Well, I'm sorry we killed all your dudes. Okay, can't get through that. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. Wait, we're supposed to talk to somebody else? You? Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. What else is in this room? That's a quest. Thank you, Commander. I thought I was dead when they took me. What's the what's with the quest marker? Chairman Burns. Okay, yeah. We 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 got him. Um uh, okay. Point of interest. Yeah, we we talked to. So do we just do we just leave? Can we just uh, head on out or? Okay. Okay. So the fact that a lot of stuff in this area is too low for us to get through, that does make me think that we weren't necessarily supposed to uh, get here this soon. But we did it either way, even though we were up against a bunch of biotics. So that feels good. That power was super annoying. Goodness. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, this is the way back. I don't think we need to do anything else. Sure. So, did we do it? <laughs> what, what quest was that? Hold on just a moment. Hostage. Okay, so we did that. So that wasn't... Okay, that wasn't what I thought it was. Okay, but we are probably in the right system. Message coming in. Patching it through. Another quest? Thank you for dealing with the hostage situation, Commander. Chairman Burns was quite impressed by the way you resolved the situation peacefully. Your assistance above and beyond the formal duties has been noted, Commander. Fifth fleet out. It doesn't help that everybody sounds like a creepy robot through the radio. Okay, we did that. So if that was a point of interest, and we looked at the other places. They said somewhere in the Gamma Cluster, this one. They said that's where the, um, the transmission went out. But I'm not seeing any other points of interest in these systems. Unless I'm missing one. That is, there's a case to be made for that. But I don't see any other big giant arrows that say, hey, go here. Um, it'd be cool if I could look at my quests, okay. Let's back out for a second. Um, a survey team in the Hades Gamma Cluster recently dropped out of contact. Go to the Hades Gamma Cluster and find out what happened to them. Travel to the Antaeus system in the Hades Gamma Cluster to look for the missing survey team. Okay. So I guess those quests... So I probably had that for the last quest. It probably literally told me exactly where to go, and I just didn't go to it. Uh, Vamal? Enormous terrestrial world of mixed rock and ice, an atmosphere of 
methane, and ethane. Its frozen surface is mainly composed of calcium with deposits of iron. Because of noxious surface gases, explorers are warned to use extreme caution. No thanks. Wait, survey? That doesn't mean land, right? Okay. Uranium. Cool. Cool beans. Uh, Hunidor. Moderately sized ice world with an extremely thin atmosphere composed of krypton and xenon. Its frozen surface is usually smooth, suggesting widespread repaving by krypton. Cryovolcanic processes through no such activity is currently evident. Okay, cool. Trebin. We can land here. Uh, modest terrestrial world with an atmosphere composed of nitrogen and argon. Its surface is mainly composed of nickel and deposits of silver. Trebin's environment is relatively mild, but the scarcity of water or familiar enabling substances has prevented the development of any biosphere. Exogeni Corp. recently performed a test impact of a single water ice comet into the surface, the first step of a long-term plan to thicken the atmosphere and introduce water to the environment. A survey team is on the surface, monitoring the geological and meteorological effects of the test impact. Most of the water released is still in the form of atmospheric vapor, but a thick cloud, thick cloud banks have formed. There is every indication that this arid world will soon see its first rain. The survey team's progress has been hampered by frequent mechanical or computer failures in their GPS satellites. Okay, let's land. Is that? I think that's who we're looking for. A survey team? Possibly. I don't know. Either way, we're landing. Um, let's go Kaiden and Liara. I like to mix it up whenever I can. Oh, we're going out in our, our car again? All right. You love to see it. You love to see it. You don't like to see me behind the wheel, but you love to see the car. We got an achievement for something. Okay, I don't even know where we're going. How uh, open-ended is this uh, exploration going to be? Okay, that seems to be... This was the direction we were pointed when we landed, so... Oh, that looks important. I'm legitimately scared of tipping this thing over. Okay. Mineral. Debris. Anomaly. Research base. Anomaly. Let's go... <clears throat> I don't know how steep this thing can go. But I think we should go to that first anomaly over here. Which is around this mountain and to the right. I don't know why we would need mineral... I'm sure we'll need it at some point. Easy does it. Nice and gentle. Okay. Using some Skyrim powers here. Okay, let's just find the gentlest way down. By the power of gravity... I love how the rear lights are always going on and off, trying to react to my horrible driving. Okay. It should be out this way. See, I can handle terrain like this. Whoops. We are off course. There we go. This way. Off we go. Wow, it is barren out here. <laughs> they weren't joking. If they are stranded here, they are probably in a lot of trouble. Okay, I see the anomaly. Okay, let's keep moving. Wow, we are we are in so much danger. R repair. Oh. Move. Alrighty. And we're dead. <laughs> Why does this game hate me so much? I keep stumbling into super dangerous areas.
Do I have to drive all the way back? Son of a gun. Do we need to go to that anomaly? Do we need to kill that thing? I don't know. We're gonna do it, because I'm stupid, but... I'm sure the game would have us not go that way if we could. How fast does this baby go? Again, is this a situation where we need to look at it? I mean, it's a point of interest. I'll grant you that. It certainly is. Okay, move. Wow, that was accurate. Okay, stop moving directly towards it. I don't like how the car moves in the direction I'm pointing the gun. Because that's not what I would want it to do. Okay, it's definitely doable. It's definitely doable. I don't know why uh, I can't keep repairing. It doesn't seem to want to repair. I think we could do it. It's going to be tough. As soon as we get the big guy out, we just have to target those stupid tentacles. I will admit, having to drive back every time is more than a little tedious. This game keeps on throwing me curveballs. It's definitely challenging. I have faced a variety of challenges in a very short period of time that I, I don't know if I was supposed to this soon or not. Okay, drive. Okay, immediately got hit. Tentacles. Move. Okay, are you not gonna, are you not gonna shoot anymore? No? Okay, cool. Ugh. All I know is this game has it out for me, and I won't stand for it. Besides, I hate sand. It's coarse and irritating. Not to mention it gets everywhere. Okay, and big gun. One boom and move. Nope, immediately got hit. Immediately got hit. Okay, R. <laughs> oh, hi. And direct hit with the acid again. Just direct. No, n not missing at all. I have no idea how close I was. I wasn't looking at its health. Why is it so accurate? <laughs> this game is just flipping me the middle finger right now. And what the game doesn't realize is that I might be one of the most stubborn people to ever have lived. And, uh... I'm not gonna take this lying down. I'm not. I'm not going to. It's a point of interest. The game is saying, hey, looky over here. I'm not gonna leave the planet to go figure out how to upgrade my vehicle before coming back here to just kill this thing. That's not what I'm gonna do. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> this game is not gonna get my goat. It's not. I need to find a defensive position behind something so the acid can't touch me. And go behind here. Okay, am I out of range? I did hit him a couple times. Okay, now he's mad. Okay, hide again. Behind this. <laughs> Hide. Nope. Okay, now he's mad again. Okay, I need you to make the guns work again. Okay, nope. You suck. <laughs> we were closer. We're, we're, we're going back. I don't know. The guns keep jamming. Like, they're not overheating. They're just not firing anymore. It's a side quest. I refuse to leave the planet and wait to be stronger to- I refuse. I refuse. I am actively pushing my own will. I won't let this happen to me. I know it's optional. I don't care. The game has insulted me. Alright? 
I'm gonna find every exploit in my power to make this work. I mean, we're exposed over here, so that's a bad long play. But this is interesting. I like this. Are you just gonna hide again? I don't think his health reset. If I wake him up and then just get one good shot. Okay, and off we go. I'm gonna leave. I'm just gonna drive straight up this wall. Okay. And does he reset? Okay, we're gonna go back down there. I wanna see how much health he has. <laughs> if he doesn't regain his health, I'm gonna laugh so hard. He doesn't. Houston, he does not. This is the greatest news I've ever heard. I still might die if he keeps hitting me with those accurate shots. Uh-oh. That's bad. Move. Move. Dang. Why is he so accurate? All right, well, this is bad. My plan isn't gonna work because he can hit me from a mile away. Our thing is actually smoldering right now. It's so bad. Uh, repair again? If I could cheese this, first of all, I will. Gladly, happily, joyously. But if that's possible, that I could kill this thing by exploiting the fact that it gets bored, that would be pretty great. All right, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna see if I can't wake him up again. I can hear it, I can hear the acid. And hard left. Reset. You're not resetting. Over the ledge. Ledge. Okay. He <laughs> reset. He did reset. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I am shameless. I will do this. I do not care. This giant space monster. It, there's no honor in it. However, it will be funny. And backing up. Okay. All right, up the mountain we go. <laughs> Repair. <laughs> this is such a waste of Omni Gel, but I don't care. I really don't. I think this is hilarious. Off once again, the intrepid explorer goes off in search of monstrous life. He shoots it once. He doesn't move until he kills it. And it's dead, no? Why isn't it dead, he asked. It has no health. Where, is it dead? Yay or nay? That seemed odd. Alrighty, I guess it's marker doesn't leave the ground. All right. Fancy that. Can we save? Oh, thank goodness we can save. <laughs> that was the lamest way I could have done that. But yet again, don't care. Okay, Q. All right. Recover. Recover artifact. 
Centurion insignia recovered. There are no signs of any survivors. The pod is empty except for a small tattered flag marked with the Nimini's colony insignia. Okay. So back into the Mako. Isn't the Mako a kind of fish? Okay. Our wheel sustained some damage. All right. Let's take a look at our map. So that's the next closest thing is the research base. Anomaly. I guess we're going research base. Which is dead this way. Dead might have been a poor choice of words. Hopefully, hopefully people aren't dead, but... Who knows? Who knows? All right. One day I'll master this interplanetary driving sim. Okay, to the right. To the right. To the right. To the right, the right, the right. Research base could be cool, provided what they were researching. It's off this way. Good to know. I wonder if we could have used our thrusters during the battle to help, like, jump over the acid. It wouldn't have been half as bad if the monster wasn't just so accurate. That monster has better aiming skills than I do. Granted, that's not saying much, but still. Okay, this is a point of interest. Wait, why are... There's not multiple points of interest on this map. That's weird. Okay, is that a... Where is everybody? Gee, I wonder. Can we even go inside? Or is that a, a bad idea to leave? Here, let's... Let's hop out. Can we even open these? We can. According to these data logs, the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. Guess we should head to the excavation site then. According to these data logs, the survey team unearthed some kind of alien technology. Okay. Guess we should head to the excavation site then. Don't mind me. Take all that good stuff. Um, do we need to... We probably don't have to check out all this stuff. But while I'm here, in case there's goodies, like a medical kit. See? That's why we explore. That's why we explore the galaxy. That's what we're here for. Malfunctioning object. Armor piercing rounds. Take that. Okay, what was this? This is another vehicle, I'm assuming. I don't think we can get in. Probably not. Okay. Um. So that's the excavation site. That's debris, and that's an anomaly. Should we go to the excavation site, or should we save that for last? We should probably go to the debris, huh? It's just so far away. Eh, it's fine. I'll probably speed it up or something. Let's go to the anomaly. If it's another giant monster, I'm going to be quite upset. Okay, careful. Okay, I see the stuff. Okay. Let's... Turn around. Not flip our vehicle. It's a good thing this thing's got six wheels. I can tell you that much right now. Okay. Oh, that's moving. Now that is interesting. Is that a distress beacon or something? Transmitter. I'm assuming this is where the signal calling for help came from. Deactivate. Tight beam signals into geosynchronous orbit. This disrupts the survey team's GPS satellites, causing them to crash nearby. What? I don't know why I did that. Or is that what this is? So... Did they turn off their transmitter? No, we turned it off just now. Did they find something they weren't supposed to? And didn't want to share with the other kids? What? 
If we turned off the transmitter, I'm a little confused, but clearly we probably would have had to do that first. Okay, so let's check the debris. Yep, that's debris. Oh, scavengers. Ho. Oh. Hi, pal. <laughs> wow, imagine trying to <laughs> Imagine trying to shoot at a tank from a mile off and doing it with such confidence. I strive to have that level of confidence. All right. Cool. Heading out. Crashed probe. Electronic skill too low. Great. Okay, so this was the scavengers thing? Okay. If we can't scavenge off of this thing, I don't even know how we would upgrade our electronics or whatever the heck. So let's just let's just leave. All right, let's go back to the excavation site, which should just be off pretty much in a straight line from here, I think. Okay, this way. I am glad I looked at all the other stuff before coming here. <clears throat> Just in case we needed to go do that first. Okay, there's the excavation site. We're probably going to have to go in on foot, which probably means another cave. And if the research team went offline and there are scavengers here, I wouldn't be surprised if we have a hostage situation inside. That would not surprise me one bit. Okay, I'm going to save now that I'm right outside the building. And we'll hop out. And we'll go see what's what. Alright, in we go. Let's get the sniper out. I also need to assign hotkeys. I have not done that yet, and I need to. Alrighty. Oh, joy. Oh, the familiar places. Well, this place isn't disturbing at all. Whew, I am sweating. Whoop. Oh. Okay. All right. This was not what I expected. Okay. That's a lot of dudes. Like a lot. Like a ludicrous number of bad guys. All right. And you can do that as well. Good luck. Okay, close combat. This is quite literally in uh, Fallout 4, the uh, mine shaft that has all the ghouls in it. What the heck are all these husks doing down here? How did they get down here? All right, well, Liara's down. <clears throat> oh, both of them are down. Okay, you guys can get up now. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Thanks, guys. What would I do without you? It's fine. I'll level them up. Okay. I don't like that sound. One bit. Locked crate. Ooh. take all that stuff okay was this the excavation site 
Holy smokes, that's bright. Okay, what did you guys find? Guess we're... Oh, oh, this is real bad. Okay, you need to do this. And you need to do that. Thank you. That was cool. Okay, we need to fall way back. Okay, hold on. Back up. Back all the way up. Come on, guys. All the way back. Sniper time? Come on. All the way back. Come on, dude. All the way back. Keep backing up. All right. We'll just wait for him like we did the first time because that went so well. Here they come. Okay, back up. Now both of you can do your superpower thing again. Buy us some time. The, the aimless way that they shamble around is actually tactically frustrating at times. Okay, well, you're both down. Okay, sick. Okay, run. Right, cool. Next. Let it cool off. All right. Well, that hurt a little bit. All right, so now we know every time we open a door, watch for husks. All right. I'm familiar with the term kiting, in which you parade a bunch of enemies around in an easy-to-kill line. And that wasn't quite the cleanest kiting we could have done. Hi. That accounts for all the exogenic survey team. Oh, that was them. They were converted into cybernetic husks by devices similar to those used by the Geth on Eden Prime. How they came to be buried on a frontier world so far from Geth territory is a mystery. Okay. Great. Perimeter secured. Mystery solved. All right, let's go to this first dead end because that's a great idea. So that was the research team, huh? Okay, well, let's just see what goodies we can find. Decryption skill too low. Sick. My everything skills are too low. I know that already. As if it's just the game telling me. All right. Open this door. Is there anything I can open up in here? How about you? Sludge canister. Thank you. Oh, boy. All that for sludge. Dope. Uh, was there a way for us to just return to the Normandy? Did I accidentally hit a button that did that? Cover me. I'm almost positive I hit a button that just said return to the Normandy. Can we? Ready. Yes, sir. Okay. How do we just return to the Normandy? Okay, I do have thirty points. Okay, so let's increase his squad healing. What takes your health up?
I'm just throwing points into everything at this point. I'm just unlocking a bunch of stuff for him. Because I have not been allocating points for him very well. And by very well, I mean at all. Oh, I can't bring that up anymore. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, good there. 30 points, dang. Okay. What would be useful for you to have? Probably first aid. Okay, 20 points left. Scientist, up you go. Okay, just unlocking all the abilities, come on. Four points left, throw. Because that was funny to watch. Okay, cool. Uh, back. How do we leave and go back upstairs? How does that work? There was definitely something I hit earlier. But I don't know what it was. Here, let's just leave. So all of that was, I won't say for not, because it was fun. All right, how do we return? Can we only do that from the ship? Or the car, the Mako? Okay. R, T, Y, E, Q. Nope, Q is to get out. How do we return to the Normandy? I'm just pressing buttons and hoping it works. Nope. What did I push earlier? Shift. Oh, there's a boost? That's fun. Hold on. Uh, options. Uh, key bindings. Combat. Vehicle. Exit vehicle. Leave world. F. Of course. F for leaf world. <laughs> I got nothing. All right. Well, we're back. <laughs> so stupid. Oh, my brain's fried. I've been recording for so long, and I have so little to show for it. Okay. So I'm assuming that checked that off our list, right? What? survey team right we took care of that was that the one dude's brother who was Garoth asked you to look for his missing brother fears his brother's ship may have fallen victim to privateers while traveling through this strenuous system let's do that if it's just privateers uh horsehead nebula cluster and search for signs okay strenus stren strenuous system i don't know how how the heck you pronounce that here let's let's check it out we're looking for horse head zoom out and back way up we're looking for strenuous system citadel Oh, Horsehead Nebula. The Strenuous System. We're, we're going far. Since a lot of what I did on that planet's gonna need to be fast forwarded or sped up or cut to make it bearable, uh, I don't feel bad about that. Um, Privateers. If I was Privateers, where would I go? I would go to Trellin. Nope. Lifeless rock with a trace atmosphere of xenon and krypton. Its surface contains large amounts of iron and magnesium silicates due to heavily cratered terrain. Starships are discouraged from landing. A Solarian religious cult claims that a certain pattern of overlapping craters in the southern hemisphere resembles their goddess. Okay. Anitara. We can survey it. Gas deposit. Zoom out. That's neat. What about you? Standard hydrogen helium gas giant 
Thesal Thessalagon. No, Thessal Thessalgon. Wow. Nido. Zawin. Uh, thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and ethane. Surface is frozen. Ice storms. Lovely. Yunthoral. Thick atmosphere. Uh, indications of primitive organic life. Cool. Okay, where haven't we looked? Shouldn't it be on one of these planets? We're in the Strenuous system. Have we looked everywhere? Well, now this is frustrating. Uh... We've looked everywhere, haven't we? I think we have. So what are we supposed to tell him? His brother's not there? Strange. Okay, so our journal has been updated. Uh, look for his missing brother. Garoth fears his brother's ship may have fallen victim to privateers while traveling through the Strenus system. Go to the Strenus system in the Horsehead Nebula cluster and search for signs of Garoth's brother and his ship, which we didn't find. Uh, gee, that's rough. I don't know what we're supposed to do with that. This looks like a constant thing where we're scanning planets. Several Turian outposts and colonies were destroyed during the Unification War. Each colony's insignia also disappeared. Turian emblems. There are several League of One medallions and a few ID tags scattered through these systems. The hunt must have been extensive and taken years. Okay. All right, well, um, I'm not sure how much I should do now because I don't have a direction to go, really, outside of, like, a main quest area, which I don't want to start into that right now. Find more minerals, got it. Found insignia, got it. And Salarian artifact, got it. Missions, get the tech. Pharos and Noveria. Go to Noveria and go to Pharos. Well, I'm assuming those are going to be a little bit more uh, awful because Geth will be there. So I should probably call it there. Is there any way for me to go talk to my crew? That's like the council room. I want to talk with our, our party mates or something. I need to examine all this stuff because I didn't know I was supposed to be doing that. Nope. I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. I want to talk about something else. Oh, I get it. It's supposed to be a surprise. Don't worry. When they pin it on my chest, I'll pretend I had no idea it was coming. So, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? I have to go. Right. That was natural. Uh, I don't know where my crew is. They must be uh, out of the way. Oh, wait a second. Hold on. What's this over here? Is there like a common area or something downstairs? Elevator. Oh, there's Kaiden. Sleeper pod? Like for cryo sleep? That's kind of cool. 
Sure, those won't come into play at all. Anything you need, Commander? Uh. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander. Okay. So he's down here. Good to know. Personnel manual. I'm just looking for stuff to examine because I must be quite underleveled in general. Just based on how things have gone so far. That's my only assumption. It's also possible that I'm just bad at the game. Dr. Chakwas. Yes, Commander? Is there something you need? How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him before this mission. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. What does that have to do with it? Well, most biotics now use the L3 implants. Lieutenant Alenko was wired for the old L2 configuration. Sometimes there are complications. Oh. What kind of complications? Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. There's a long list of horrific side effects. Hayden's lucky. He just gets migraines. How well do you know the lieutenant? I'd never worked with him. Tends to keep to himself, though. Maybe because of the headaches. It's not easy being an L2. Goodbye, Commander. That's interesting. Okay, there's Liara. Do we need to talk to her right now? I probably don't want to get into a whole dialogue right now, but I will probably call the episode there. Uh, we had another successful journey down to the planet's surface uh and uh through sheer brute force and power of will we killed a giant monster by cheesing the game because the game made me mad and so i decided i wasn't gonna give up but uh that's gonna do it for this episode so thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in the next episode bye